Now, in an ideal world, it would be very ideal to become your own boss. Did anybody see this right here? Did anybody see Cameron prove that having fuck you money is the way to go? Watch this. Is there something known in the industry about how Diddy treated his artists? So I'm going to get some cheeks after this horsepower joint. Um, I'm just going off what Mace said. Mace took me to Biggie. I don't really know Puff is like Mace no Puff. So I appreciate what Mace said. And of course, uh, that's my brother. So if he felt that way, then he felt that way. I can't really tell you how Puff moves or anything like that. Mace may know better than me because he was signed to Puff. I wasn't. But my show does come on at 8 a.m. Eastern on YouTube. It's called It Is What It Is. And y'all make sure y'all check it out. I mean, I might get some more information out of Mace from there. But for me to tell you mm. how Puff acting and all that, I don't know. I never was signed to him. Yeah. What about the industry in general? I mean, so many people have pointed out that Diddy couldn't get away with this stuff if there weren't a lot of people protecting him. Do you think that's the case? Who the talent agent for this joint? Like, you think I'll be sitting around watching what Diddy do and all this? I didn't know this was a Diddy joint that all invited me to. Yo, who? Yo, who booked me for this joint? All I'm right. wild and I don't be Cameron. sitting around watching Diddy and all that. Yeah, thanks. Man, come on, man. This thanks for crazy, joining man. us. Thank you for your time today. You heard? Dipset, dipset, dipset. There's a war going on outside. No man is safe from. Yeah, fuck you, money. You got to be your own boss. Every man, right? Every man, even if you don't have a company of your own, you're not incorporated. Learn about the business. Learn how corporations work. Learn how your employer is actually fucking you. You guys are working hard. You're tired. Your posture's fucked up. You're stressed out. You're fulfilling someone else's dream. You work a nine to five, you get your job, and you're trying to spend money to take women out. How many of you guys have a situation where you can tell somebody and make them feel stupid? That Cameron incident was epic. At first, when I saw it, I was kind of like, damn, some nigga shit. Uh... <laughs> Another nigga embarrassing us. But then I thought about it and I said, you know what? The only person that should be embarrassed or feel bad is the monkey woman that works for CNN. We got to start building our own. We got to start doing for ourselves. Now, every opportunity is an opportunity to learn. Hopefully that young lady will learn. But they set her up there to talk to another nigger. But he flipped it because he created revenue streams for himself. He cross-marketed. He had the dip set, dip set shirt on. He had the pink horse power, the energy drink to have sex with women. He's got fuck you money. You know the acronym stands for, right? Just over broke. So if you have a job... And you're working hard and you don't have any dreams associated with your job. What exactly are you doing? If there's some mothers in here, bro, please stop. Please let your child see their father, especially if they a good father. Let your child see their father. If y'all just don't know, that ruins us inside. Like, it ruins us bad. Like, our, our relationship, like, we have to grow up with this. And this will forever be a story of our lives growing up without our father. Like, if you... Listen, if you if you got a child right now and you're literally keeping them away from their father, you ruin the kid's life. It's not gonna come back good on you. They can always have this hatred towards you, you feel me? For, for you keeping them, but if you like keep them away from a father for a good reason, like he a drug addict or something like that, or he just can't get right, then yeah, I understand. But if he's a good father, let the man see his child for sure. Like for real, like let him see his child. Cause I'm telling you, we need our father figures, you feel me? We need our father figures. We we love our mom, we love y'all to death. We love our mom so much, but we need our father figures. We need that, you know, that manly in our life. You, know, you feel what I'm saying? So please let, let your child see their father, especially if they're a great father. And if you if you are anything like me, and um, you're grown now and you have the chance to go find your father, 
and he actually like a good person, I advise y'all to go go find y'all father and go talk to your father and catch up on times. Cause look, this life is short, bro. I understand that this life is short and you only get one father, you feel me? So I feel like I gained enough confidence to go actually speak to my dad and have a conversation with him and see like what he's been going through all these years without seeing me. 